What's up people this is YSHQ and today I'm going to show you how to install open WRT firmware on a, uh, on a TP-Link router. There are multiple firmwares for routers, the stock and the custom ones. There are three main custom types, the open WRT, DDWRT and Tomato. So open WRT is the basis for other routers, for many of the router firmwares, the, these are the points. DDWRT is based on OpenWRT but it's but it has extra features and is more user friendly than the Open OpenWRT. Tomato it is relatively new and it supports few devices but this is lightweight. So I have a, a MR3220 router which I have, as, have it as an extra as my friend gave it to me recently. So this is the stock firmware that comes onto it. And it is very basic, it does not have much functionality. It only has the basic functions. But what I needed for this router to do is to act as a switch as an and as a firewall. So the first thing I did was went to the table of hardware. The links will be down in the description below. There are multiple devices which are supported by this firmware and I'll go straight into the TP-Link column and there it is MR3020 I opened it and the same firmware uh, and this also supports the 3420 model which I have which is my primary router and the 3220 would be my secondary switch so we uh, so I uh, so you have to go down to the open WRT install image then you have to download the version and the model number as I have a version 2 of the 3020 I went uh, I went ahead and downloaded this file it is right here I copied it onto the desktop the next thing we have to go into the uh, the uh, the routers page go to system tools the uh, firmware upgrade browse for the file it is this one so i'll go to desktop the open wrt squash and just click on upgrade and i'll let it do its thing this may take a maximum of, of a minute or two so let it be done Okay, so it is done and as you can see the browser cannot open the specified IP hence we have to change it and hence we know that the firmware is upgraded the IP for the open WRT is 192.168.1.1 if we click enter it will open the configuration interface and there you have it the password is also root you have to log in and there you have it the firmware upgraded it has multiple features such as the firewall the routes you can also install the shed uh, you can also change the configuration of the leds like a specific led for a specific port then the software part you can also install packages 
which are available from here there are there are a lot of functions and features such as these the interfaces you can connect or disconnect devices you can set or disconnect the wi-fi then you can make the router work as a switch the dhcp and dns hostname static or firewall you can set up right on the router router level multiple things Everything's right there. Real time graphs. This graph will show the real time data on the router, the load, traffic, wireless connections, everything. You can see here. There's a real time traffic. As I don't have my van. van port connected and hence it shows only the speed that is required by the browser to work with the router in this part i'm going to show you changing the default password which comes by the which comes when you install it it is root by default so to change it you have to go to the administration By mistake, I open security, but one has to go to the administration, then type in the new password twice, and just click on save and apply. That's it. This part contains changing the default IP address. I the gateway IP is the IP address that you type in the address bar. So what you have to do is go into interfaces, then click on the LAN. edit edit it then going into the general setup just click on the static ip and put in the new ip i had to change this because this is my second year router which would act as a switch hence i had to do that the next thing is to take the dhcp server disable check box and it's done In this part, I'm going to show you accessing the router over SSH. So I've opened up Putty. The next thing I have to do is type the gateway IP on port 22 after changing the password, and it will ask for login. So login as root and the password that you changed to the new password, and you have it. One of the good things about Open SSH, Open the WRT, is that you can access it, access it over. the routers web pay the routers gui or through the command line interface over putty or any ssh service there are multiple commands which can be found on the internet now to revert back to the original firmware the only thing you have to do is the download a stripped version of the firmware as the as the original firmware is bigger than the size that that is to be installed with this firmware on the maximum it supports is a 3.8 mb file but the firmware is way bigger than that and hence we have to download a stripped version of it the only thing i will do is untick the keep settings browse for it the stripped version open it click on flash and just click on proceed that's all see as i said earlier it only has 3.81 mb available and after installing the stripped version you can you can upgrade the stripped version to the stock version by downloading the stock version file from the tplink website it will also be linked down in the description below
सो थैंक यू पीपल फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो लाइक दिस वीडियो और डिसलाइक इट सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल शेयर इट गो थ्रू माई अदर वीडियोज एंड सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम टाटा